What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Now I've just got back from a family trip for Christmas so haven't really been able to cover all the new info on the Destiny 2 next DLC but I have been keeping up to date with it. Now I hope you all had a great great Christmas. I really do. Now thanks to a pal of mine, My Life Crisis, I have some well kind of new info on this DLC. Now on the Japanese PlayStation Store basically new info was dropped on this DLC before it was quickly removed. It was also said to have dropped on the American store also again being quickly removed it's like they're trying to tease us like what's happening is an evil scheme by PlayStation and Bungie now I wouldn't be surprised would you something to get the hype train going now details were dropped on the PlayStation store obviously someone was quick enough to rip the page you epic bastards the image can be found linked within the video description but we will go through it here on this video so the details read Destiny 2 Expansion 2 Gods of Mars sends your guardian on a long journey to a brand new destination, the frigid veil of Mars. With an array of new missions, adventures and enemies to fight, Charmaine has awoken on Mars and has imprisoned Rasputin within an ancient vault. Work with the elusive Anabre, long thought to be dead, in order to combat Charmaine's remnants, free Rasputin and uncover the secrets of Clovis Bay. It states it features, explore the frigid veil, a new destination that conceals the mysterious Clover Grove and Charmaine's vault beneath its surface, new story missions and adventures, new themed weapons, armors and gear to earn, new cooperative activities, new cooperative multiplayer arenas, new enemy faction and bosses, online features requiring an account and so forth, blah 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 blah, just talking about system requirements and licenses and all that rubbish, nothing interesting at all. So yeah, the DLC, it sounds like a DLC, ones which we're used to with Destiny. A few new details on what we are getting, but nothing for me to be really much excited about. Now the Japanese version of this leak revealed a few more secrets I believe, it reads as follows. Destiny 2 Expansion 2 Gods of Mars sends your guardian out to Mars's Clovis Grove, a brand new destination that is host to an array of brand new missions and adventures. Walk alongside the elusive Anna Bray in order to prevent Charmaine, Matrix of Corruption, from amassing an army of silver enhanced weaponized frames before Mars is lost. Features Explore Mars Clovis Grove and uncover Charmaine's vault underneath the frozen wastes. New missions and adventures. New themed weapons, armors and gear to uncover. New cooperative activities. New competitive multiplayer arenas. New frame and nanite enemy faction. So it does tie in with the US version. We've got to remember this has actually been translated. So it might not make complete sense. But details on the story and the enemies within the DLC are a little more clearer now. So there is a new enemy type, so we believe, frame and nanite, a kind of siva infused enemy again. This kind of follows the pattern we had with the DLC for Destiny 1 with Lord Saladin, where we had to fend off the siva fallen. We work with Anna Bray to help the Sputin escape Charmaine's ancient vault and fight off these new siva enhanced weaponized frames. So yeah, like I said, it does sort of like match what we had with uh, Destiny 1. Mars will be the new destination, added with a variety of new adventures, missions and so forth. Now to me, this does sound fine, but there's an underlying problem with the game which needs sorting before we go any further with this franchise, and that is the incorporation of Eververse. Long has this evolved into such a place which is ruining the game and I'm afraid no matter how great a DLC is, unless the core problems are dealt with first, the DLC won't do anything for this franchise in my opinion. Now I do have a video which I'm working on all about Tess Eververse which I might drop later. It is kind of a heated one to say the least and if by some miracle I ain't on Bungie's blacklist I will be after this video so stay tuned for that. But yeah guys, back to this DLC leak. The DLC is what could be something pretty good. It sounds great, the story behind it could be great. But like I said, unless things are sorted, this three month old game, which is now cheaper to buy than Minecraft, will eventually become a game we pay for them to take away. And on that note guys, I am out. So let me know what you think about the DLC leak down below within that comment section. I will say nothing has been confirmed factual, so you may as well take it with a pinch of salt, but it seems legit to me. But yeah, let me know what you think about it down below. Thanks as always for stopping by. If you're new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos brought to you with an open mind, do subscribe. Again, thanks for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand, but you and I.
get it right.